The New Zealand Air Games is the first event to combine all of the FAI air sports in one location. Welcome into the Using the world's most advanced TV sports technologies to present the live action to a global audience. Over 110 live cameras were combined with live 3D graphics to bring all of the sports action to spectators via an airfield screen and to a global internet and TV audience, and was a result of two years' detailed planning and innovation. The 10 official FAI sports each were involved in combining their discipline into a new, revolutionary air games format designed to achieve critical mass. Each sport has its own history, full of heroic innovation and epic record-breaking achievements. But finding the right formula to take these sports to a mass market audience has been complex and challenging. There they go, everyone's exiting all at the same time. Over the past 100 years, these sports have been tightly governed by the FAI, but each discipline has remained proudly independent and essentially separate from each other. And so now we've got a live shot of the helicopter. Bringing the sports together needed two key elements, commercially funded infrastructure and the creation of a global audience which one sport alone could never achieve. Air Sports Limited achieved these two goals in close cooperation with both the FAI and the local FAI body, Flying New Zealand. Get that helicopter going! <laughs> Woo! Yeah, both yes. way. Way. <laughs> Making the world's air sports accessible to spectators and TV viewers has involved a large number of specific technical challenges. Mounting cameras on each of the competitors and then sending live signals back to the ground has been the biggest achievement. We can see out of the front of Sebastian's glider. The multiple mini cams were backed up with revolutionary 3D real time graphics, which use satellite technology to send GPS signals to a live graphics operation. These graphics explain the skill and strategy involved in the FAI sports and make the sports compelling viewing for both air sports participants and a general audience with no aviation experience. A stabilised helicopter camera system puts the viewer right in the middle of the action and all of the cameras are linked back to the airfield using long distance multiple microwave links. Detailed safety planning involved the use of specialists from all over the world, as well as local experts. And each of the complex sports competitions was designed and run in compliance with strict government civil aviation regulations. Yeah, that's okay. The project included airspace management, licenses for filming at remote locations, health and safety planning, and the recruitment of over 80 TV sports writers, directors, camera operators, and field reporters. Specialist distribution of coverage from New Zealand addressed the highlights, news, internet, and sports TV markets. Coverage was marketed to 90 sports broadcasters in 70 countries. The pre-event confirmed available audience of 490 million will grow as broadcast figures are collected during 2008, and the total program time transmitted will exceed 1,000 hours. Hello everybody and welcome back to the 2007 Gliding Grand Prix Final here in Amarima. New Zealand was also the location for an even more advanced project, designed to start the second stage process of building a targeted audience for the individual FAI sports. The FAI World GP Gliding Championship was staged with all of the technical features used at the New Zealand Air Games. Here, the coverage was targeted on an internet audience, with specialist commentators presenting the programming from a studio on the airfield. Each day, the audience doubled in size, with 90% of the internet viewers watching all six days of the competition. Of the visitors to the event website, over 25% ended up watching the live video coverage. The result has shown an exciting future for individual sports coverage within the FAI disciplines, based on the fundamental technical foundation of a multi-sports air game circuit. Welcome into Wanaka and its magical best. Look at that.
the New Zealand Air Games opens the way for significant global sponsorship of an Air Games circuit and creates a strong base for the 2009 World Air Games. Integration of future national and world air games into a single circuit could well be a logical and progressive step. Perhaps most importantly, a global air games circuit will allow each of the 10 air sports disciplines to gain strength and grow. The Air Game Circuit will give the FAI a constant revenue source which will allow it to manage and develop these inspirational sports well into this century and beyond.